No sound on the computer can be really frustrating, but if you follow this simple routine that I've worked out, uh, you can normally solve the problem in a few minutes. Now rule number one is try the simple stuff first. Don't go changing any complex settings uh, that can get you into trouble. And uh, what I always do is if I'm going to change any settings, I do a screenshot of what they were before I started so that I can roll back very easily to my starting point if that doesn't work. And if you want to know how to take a screenshot with Windows, uh, just have a look at the video on top of the screen at the moment. Another thing that might be useful, and I do this quite regularly, is to set a system restore point. And if you look in the description below, I've just outlined how to set a system restore point. Now this is the sequence that I normally go through. Um, the first thing to check is if you go onto your taskbar, on the bottom right here is a little speaker icon, and that is your audio settings. So if you click on that, it tells you what device you're using at the moment. Uh, for I've got um, headphones, and that's listed there. If I use this, click this arrow here, it'll show me what other devices are available. But I'm using headphones at the moment, so if I click on that, I can see whether the volume is up or not. Um, if you see something like this, that means it's been muted, or if you see the volume's turned right down uh, to zero, then you won't hear anything either. So just make sure that's not muted and that's turned up fully on the device that you're using. This is a USB device and normally you plug in a USB device and uh, it sets itself up, loads the drivers and all that, and then it appears here. But some output devices will only work off certain USB ports. For instance, uh, my microphone will only work off a USB 2 port. If I put it in a USB 3 port, it doesn't work. So it might be an idea, if it's not showing up here, to try a different USB port. So that's the first thing. If you're using an external audio output device, like these headphones, for instance, in my case, uh, just be sure that they've been plugged in correctly. Some of them will have a volume control, which you've also got to check that that's turned up properly. If you're watching a video or something, you need to check on the video itself to see that the sound control is not muted. In this case, you can see it's muted. So what I have to do now is unmute it. It was less than 15 minutes. Now you're so getting sound. So you don't only check the master slider for sound on the speaker icon here on your taskbar. You also have to check it on your video as well. Now the next thing I normally do is go back to the sound icon on your taskbar. Uh, I'll just magnify it so we can see better. Once you're on that icon, right click and that'll open up this menu. Uh, then the first thing I look at on this menu is to open the volume mixer. So you click on that and that shows you your devices that you're using. If any of them have a muted sign like that on them, that means um, you need to undo that. That's the problem. If you don't see them, yeah, that means that app is not working properly and you have to sort that out as well. So let's undo that. But, but undoing this volume control and getting it 100% doesn't fix the actual volume control on the video itself. So you have to check that one as I showed you a moment ago. Then if we go back to our menu, um, the next thing I do is open the sound settings. And in the sound settings, you can check your master volume again, make sure that's working okay. And then you can also go to device properties. So if I select the device that I'm working with at the moment, and there's a few items here that you can check. Uh, to check your balance is correct. Uh, spatial sound is just a special feature and I like to turn off any special features if I'm troubleshooting a sound problem so that's good that that's off. You can also go to additional device properties, click on that and that brings up some more things you can check. 
you can again check your levels of your sound the microphone's muted because I'm using a USB plug-in microphone and so that automatically switches off the system microphone so that's why that one's muted then you can go to more advanced settings and you can set a few things there spatial sound we don't want any of that so let's get out of that now in this window so you can also test to see if your device is working so you click on manage sound devices uh, let's say we want to test the speaker we'll click on there and we click on test and that tells us that that device is working properly so that's another thing that you can do and we'll get out of that and then I'll go back to right clicking get this menu again and the, the next thing you can do is to troubleshoot problems and the computer will automatically detect problems now I don't have a lot of success with this but it's worth a try so give it a try and then you just follow the prompts depending on what the problem is uh, they'll give you some suggestions on how to fix it so that's another way of trying to find problems now if all that hasn't helped you then the next thing to try is to restart the computer because sometimes when your computer's been on for a while uh, a driver or something like that can get corrupted or hasn't loaded properly so restarting the computer will, will reload those things and might sort out the problem for you and if you're going to restart your computer you may as well at the same time check uh, for windows updates and the way you do that is just type update in the search bar and that'll give you some options here and you can check if your windows needs updating so restarting the computer you click the start button uh, you go to power and then you've got your options here of shutdown or restart so you click restart there so once you've set it for restart it might take a while if windows is also updating um, and then you can check again to see if the sounds working and go through those other checks again as well because something could have changed uh, with the update so that's worth doing now if none of that works then we get on to the more complex stuff uh, you can see if the driver for your sound output device is working properly or if it needs an update so to do that you right click the windows icon you go to device manager from the device manager you go down you look for the sound icon sound video and game controllers you double click that that'll give you a list of the devices that are connected to the computer at the moment and if your device is not on there then you know that's the problem and you have to check the manual and reload the device onto the computer and make sure it's set up properly um, but if all's well with that let's say we're going to check this one so we'll double click that that brings up this window where we can check uh, to see if the device is working properly we can also check the driver to see if the driver needs update or sometimes uh, if if you've just updated the driver and it stops working then you can roll back the driver to the previous version that sometimes works and then just a few other things that you can check on this one as well now if you've tried all these things and nothing has helped it could be something more complex uh, like a setting in your bias of your computer but i would suggest if the simple things don't work then perhaps look for some professional advice and see if someone else can help you solve the problem now if you found this useful please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so and if you have any questions or comments we'd love to hear from you just scroll right down to the bottom you'll find the comment section there thank you very much for watching